Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel because spreading the goodness will create good vibes. Today, I invite my friend Craig Parsons to share about the tips to answer uh, twofold questions. So, if you like to elevate your English skill and prepare for your twofold examination, watch this one. Check it out! that you are fine and still in the good health because we are in the midst of pandemic so I can listen to my voice because uh, Craig is in the same place with me would you mind to use the earphone? all right wait yeah this is very technical preparation Sorry, yeah, do you have, I don't do know. you have the earphone for this? No, the earphone? No, they would, I don't know. For your phone? And why it's not live, and you're in the same room, this won't work. I need to sit with you. You want to sit because with me? Because there's you? a delay, there's a 10 second delay, you hear it? Okay. So then you'll talk, and then there'll be a stop. Alright, then, then, then you sit it. here with me. Oh, sorry. So maybe you can sit here with me. You can end your life. Yeah. Okay, everyone. That uh, today we're going to discuss about tips uh, to answer two full questions. And with me, we have uh, Craig Parsons. He is uh, an English teacher in uh, Colombia in Cambodia in 2011 and 2016 and he is uh, an australian scotlandian and here with me i have uh, some questions that i have from my members in the group and i would like to introduce to you craig parsons craig okay hi everyone <laughs> we we are in the same in the same screen now because we have um technical difficulties about i instagram live however we are sorted into one live only in my uh instagram if you guys haven't uh put your questions in my whatsapp group and you have a question uh you can just put it in the comment uh, below so I can read it and uh, Craig will answer your questions so uh, Craig maybe you want to share first uh, what's your experience about teaching English in Cambodia and Colombia and then uh, we can start with the tips of uh, answering two full questions okay yeah thanks thanks Angie well yeah I um actually work in, in IT and uh, sometimes I like to go, go traveling and when I do go traveling uh, I like to to teach English so uh, my first experience for teaching English uh, was for an NGO for an orphanage in Cambodia and I taught English to uh, to the kids there for, for just over one month which is a really fulfilling experience um, after that when I came home I did my TEFL course so I have a, a teaching English as a foreign language accreditation, uh, which I took to South America. Uh, and I traveled through South America for just over two years. And for one of those years, I worked full time as an English teacher in Colombia at a tertiary institute called Sena, which uh, in Australia, we have a, a, a similar, similar place called uh, TAFE. So I taught IT and tourism related English in Colombia for, for a year. 
Great, what a great experience. So uh, we don't need to worry about his experience, he's a reliable teacher, of course. So if you like to ask uh, some questions about TOEFL, is it TEFL or TOEFL? TEFL is the English Teaching Accreditation, yeah. Uh, TOEFL is what you'll be studying. That's what I'm, I just learned about TEFL and TOEFL <laughs> differences. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So I prepare some questions. We can start from these questions first, and then uh, along the the process, we can mm -hmm. directly uh, discuss about the tips Perfect. that you prepare. Good idea. Are you agree, everyone? Oh, the someone say, Jerlim Fernandez say that uh, my video is a bit blur. Is it a bit blur? Oh. Anyway. Uh, I hope that it's not really, it's not really blurred. Then you can listen to my voice. All right. So the first question uh, I'll read from Ajeng. She is from East Jakarta. She is part of my member in WhatsApp group. Thank you for following me in the group, and I hope that your application in Australia Award Scholarship will be uh, successful, and you can study here in Australia. So the first question, she asks about what do we need to prepare for TOEFL exam instead of learning about grammar? Um, so grammar, grammar is obviously important um, and I think uh, English is one of the most difficult languages uh, in terms of grammar if you're translating from say Indonesian or, or, or Spanish. Uh, but aside from learning that, listening is a really, really important important part of language study um, that a lot of students uh, tend to, to overlook. So my recommendation really is to uh, watch movies, which can be fun in English, with subtitles in your own language. So if your native language is Indonesian, watch Netflix or um, a, a movie with uh, Indonesian subtitles, but it's important to listen to to English because the way we pronounce words uh, can vary a lot. Um, a lot of students, my students uh, um, told me when I was teaching is that listening in English is very very complicated because the combination of letters can sound different. So E-R, U-R, O-R, A-U, they're all combinations of letters that can can generate very, very different sounds, but depending on the context of the word. The other thing you can do is listen to podcasts in English or pop music. Um, these are really, really good things you can, you can learn about. And don't be shy about practicing. So um, the best way to learn any language is to practice. You're only going to learn so much in a classroom. You're going to learn the basics um, and you're going to learn grammar and you're going to learn about rules. Um, but it's the practice of English that's going to um, really help you. So if you think about a, a new sport like surfing, mm -hmm. you can read a book about surfing. You can read 2000 pages about surfing, mm. but you're not going to know how to jump on the board and surf on that wave until you try. And so um, don't get stressed too much about the theory. You need to practice and not be scared to fail. You mm -hmm. might say something that's in the wrong way, but that's the best way to learn. You know, let someone tell you, I'm sorry, I don't understand. What are you trying to say? And keep trying. So there's, a, there's an aspect of fear that you need to overcome when you're learning a language, especially English. Mm. So the, from the first uh, questions that I uh, get from uh, Craig's tips, that uh, we need to learn from uh, any any other platform. It's not only books or uh, TOEFL material that you need to learn, but also you can learn from watching movie, from uh, listening to podcasts, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, based on my experience, when I answer TOEFL before I learn about IELTS, uh, I learn uh, more 
uh, to podcast because once I'm listening and walking and doing other things and uh, I listen to some words that I never hear and I try to pronounce it uh, many times then I'm uh, already trying to exercise my speaking however when I do listening I uh, add more exercise into my listening skills so that I can uh, pronounce and also understand about what is podcast uh, talking about and then also watching movie um, there is one question from Putri Sugandi if I'm not mistaken I need to go um, yeah Putri Sugandi from my uh, member of the group I think uh, she asked what movies do you recommend to watch um, I think since that uh, since Greg, uh, Craig uh, already tell I don't know you uh, Craig will answer more but uh, it based on uh, your interests because for example my interest is about politics or military so I want to watch more about those kind of uh, um, fields or uh, theme so that it's more uh, having it's more desire for me to see and to watch it uh, also I can learn about uh, the conversation the subtitles to read the, the conversations there so maybe you want to add what kind of movies that you rec recommend I, I recommend uh, sitcoms to start with because the way uh, sitcoms like funny TV shows, you can watch Friends or Seinfeld or those kind of shows. Um, the reason for that is that um, the actors, they speak slowly and they speak clearly. And they're not using a whole lot of slang because they make those TV shows for international audiences. Friends and Seinfeld are popular all over the world. Uh, because they're, they're easy to understand and they're also very funny. Uh, there's a couple of Australian films, conversely, that will get you familiar with uh, Australian vocabulary and Australian slang words. So there's a film called The Castle, which is world famous. The Castle. Um, and that's actually set here in Melbourne. And uh, you'll learn a lot of uh, about Australian culture and about... Uh, Australian slang. So that's ah, a good one to cool. watch. cool. The castle. All right. So um, for those who just join uh, this live uh, in Instagram, uh, I will post it in my YouTube channel, Anggi Subijanto. If you uh, are late to join this uh, Instagram live, you can watch it in my YouTube. So you can uh, learn from the beginning of this uh, video. So we go to the next question from Lulu. Uh, she is from Bandung, West Java. So she asks, can you give us tips to answer closest meaning? Uh, qu closest meaning questions in twofold, which means like synonym, like uh, how to answer questions with the synonym, synonym words. Uh, synonyms, well, uh, <laughs> The best way to answer them is by really expanding your, your vocabulary. And in English, we have many, many words with a synonymic or similar meaning. Um, so so the, uh, the best way for that is to, like I said before, like watching movies and really getting familiar with vocabulary and, and context. Um, what I often do is when I, when I hear a new word, um, I'll look it up in Google Translate um, and Google Translate has a really great synonym feature um, so you can look at all of the different words uh, mm -hmm. that relate to that, that word from a um, from the perspective of similarity or, or a synonym. Mm. Yeah, for uh, based on my experience when I study to uh, prepare TOEFL, um, I was making a list of uh, words with the synonym uh, meanings like two to three words and I always try to memorize every day uh, with different words so it enhance and um, create more 
uh, vocabularies that uh, you will use in in daily life so it also help you to use it and uh, to um, familiarize yourself with the words that is new that you just uh, you just learn mm -hmm. so okay I I just read uh, Agung Agung said very useful information Great. thank you Great. I hope it's useful for you too. That's all the video of the tips for answering TOEFL questions. And if you have any questions around this theme, you will you can put in the comment below. And if you think that this video is very useful, you can like, share, comment, and subscribe. So that's all for today, guys. And I'll see you soon in the next video. See you!